Hi, dear all. Uh, welcome to the session. OK, so coming to the today's discussion. So just we'll be having uh, the data pre-processing aspect. So many things would be there guys in uh, data pre-processing, you know. Out of those kind of things, we are having uh, some of the aspects. So uh, like uh, missing value and all those things. Uh, let me explain uh, first what exactly the uh, current session objectives so that uh, we can uh, step into the uh, implementations. The focus areas. Of uh, the session. So the data preprocessing. And within this uh, data preprocessing, we are going to discuss uh, uh, the missing value imputation. And thereafter, we are going to talk about the encoding. Some kind of encoding techniques. And the another uh, aspect is uh, uh, the feature engineering. Feature engineering or we can say this as a feature scaling also. OK, so these things we'll see and apart from that uh, we are going to introduce. OK, so before starting any of the implementation, uh, we need to split the data. Train test split. Of the data. OK, these are all the focus areas of uh, current session. Now let me introduce uh, what exactly the uh, data preprocessing. Uh, generally friends, uh, if you are uh, referencing the uh, preprocessing criteria, preprocessing is something like uh, before processing, whatever the activities you are doing, that is known as the preprocessing. What do you mean by this pre? So this pre is uh, specifies that before our model creation. OK, before our model creation generally uh, in the uh, space of data science or data engineering. OK, suppose if I am talking about a model. Uh, a model is nothing but. Uh, OK, just it is. Uh, uh, based on some algorithm. OK, we are uh, giving some data. And we are performing some kind of the implementation. And finally, we are generating the appropriate model. So appropriate outcome. That outcome is nothing but a model. So to generate this particular model. The selection of the algorithm. And uh, uh, data, whatever I'm having. And accordingly. We need to. Fine tune our data, OK, because uh, the source must be important. Now suppose if I'm uh, uh, let me give you this example. So we are we got some kind of the data from Twitter. Maybe uh, we have published some research article. And uh, we want to get some kind of the feedback. Uh, related to that particular article. Maybe positive, negative or um, some kind of the suggestions uh, might be uh, multiple things would be there. So. Based on this particular data, based on the strength of the data, OK, based on the proper um, authentication of the data, we are going to get the uh, corresponding analysis. So and uh, you know this particular data may not be always having the proper uh, um, formatting or it may not have the proper uh, um, uh, maintenance. OK, so in that particular case we need to apply some kind of the pre processing. OK, so that means uh, before selecting 
or before applying any algorithm okay what should we should do we need to perform some kind of the pre processing okay pre processing is a uh, is a concept where you can uh, refer okay so uh, basically it is allowing us to perform some kind of the activities uh, as mentioned earlier na suppose some in some cases if the data is not there if the data is missing then we have to specify the uh, missing value imputation that we'll see today and sometimes you know uh, there are certain uh, values where those values are uh, nothing but uh, uh, suppose i am having some kind of the value such as uh, um some kind of the input data i am having and this particular data is having some uh, kind of the qualification assume that uh, maybe the qualification is uh, like that these the qualifications are there is always simple or it is always better to uh, implement or better to assign some uh, numbers rather than the rather than the string or characters simple friends uh, because if numbers we are having so that we can uh, apply some kind of the numpy and pandas whatever we have seen in the earlier sessions it is always easy to handle the numbers or numerical kind of the data rather than the characters so uh, here uh, the encoding okay so just this particular encoding playing a vital role there you can convert the appropriate data into uh, the numerical format okay for that we are having this uh, one hot encoding okay so one hot encoding in the sense uh, uh, suppose qualification if i am having okay as mentioned earlier in the example so just we are having these three uh, various qualifications assume that now with the conversion Uh, with the encoding that means one hot encoding what we can get is uh, so under this particular qualification okay so just i, I can make use of okay three considerations uh, phd and as well as mtech and btech suppose it is one okay remaining or zero suppose it is zero it is one it is zero 0 01 so whenever a particular person is having the qualification of the phd then at that moment only the encoding is putting 1 whereas in the remaining aspect it is all putting 0 similarly in the second thing second row so that person is qualified with mtech so automatically the encoding is placing 0 in a remaining qualifications coming to the third record just we are having uh, these uh, zeros and obviously is belonging to the qualification of the btech okay so likewise uh, you can convert the appropriate things with the one hot encoding and coming to another thing sometimes you know friends only one label would be there okay so here the terminology is like this uh, suppose if i am considering the data assume that we are going to work out uh, the data like this uh the age of the person salary of the person and uh, the country of the person and uh, whether that person purchased the product or not released by our company so assume that this is the data now this age salary country all these things belongs to the features friends actually features okay features or we can say these things are the independent independent variables independent variable whereas the purchase if i am talking this is nothing but the label this is what you call the dependent this is the dependent variable so that means uh, uh, the purchases are completely dependent on the uh, person's uh, salary and as well as his background okay so just we are going to uh, get that particular uh, purchase okay so now if you are referencing the one hot encoding uh, one hot encoding as mentioned earlier so just we are uh, having some kind of the different qualifications and accordingly the appropriate value is mapped 
whereas in the label encoding suppose uh, i'm having this thing friends assume that purchased uh, yes no no yes yes like that now with the label encoding okay with the label encoding yes can be converted into 1 and no can can be converted into 0 a simple friend just uh, as it is if any true or false yes or no positive or negative are there then you can go ahead with this kind of the label encoding very simple narration okay so this is uh, the concept where you can refer uh, the data pre-processing so missing value you know so suppose some of the data items uh, where there there is no uh, kind of uh, data so in the earlier uh, session of the numpy we have seen uh, in pandas also just the missing values any so kind of thing and there we have seen uh, some kind of uh, removal of the missing value and all of course that is one procedure where you can uh, handle the missing values but always that is not the procedure maybe sometimes if i want to keep uh, uh, the missing values but i want to uh, load or update some kind of the uh, mean value instead of that missing value okay that is generally we follow the kind of the procedure now what we'll do is as usual so just we'll uh, open our uh, jupyter notebook and accordingly uh, we are going to perform some kind of the activities now uh, have a look on this friends so the procedure is very simple so uh, just initially what we are doing is uh, just we are going to import uh, whatever the libraries we need uh, generally uh, we are going to import uh, numpy as uh, np because you know um, basically while working with the numpy pandas and this data pre-processing okay so these things are very much common so and uh, import pandas as pd so this np you know which is nothing but uh, um, the alias name for the numpy pd is uh, nothing but alias name for uh, pandas okay so we have imported uh, that particular thing next thing friends in the earlier example uh, in the earlier session in the pandas we have loaded some kind of the data if you remember like you know so just what we are doing is uh, uh, we are uh, we have seen we have observed that some of the uh, seaburn uh, data items like uh, seaburn library we have seen and there uh, with the help of the load data set we could able to get uh, the corresponding uh, planets data and there we have seen the description information all those kind of the things so already the data is there so that we could able to directly load the data but sometimes you know friends the data may not be predefined we have to explicitly load the data as now just we have uh, seen uh, there is a country information age information whether that person purchased the product or not maybe some kind of the data which is uh, um, collected as a part of okay our analysis so in that particular case we have to explicitly load but that particular data so here what we are doing is uh, importing the uh, data set so whatever the data we are having just we are going to import that data set for this particular thing friends what i am doing is uh, uh, i am making use of uh, uh, the, this particular thing as data one okay within this uh, see in the earlier examples we have seen series data frames arrays like that whatever the data we are having we are going to uh, read the data so pd which is the pandas way and uh, read so just you can give the tab the data is available in the csv format so here i am having some uh, sample data okay i'll be sharing with you guys so this particular sample data we are having so that means this sample data now is uh, pointed to this particular data one we cannot directly use the uh, sample data sample underscore data to csv so what we are doing we are uh, getting this particular data into the data one now, out of curiosity just you can uh, observe the type of this particular data see friends here in the earlier uh, session we have seen the concept of the data frame there you can observe okay now you can realize that whatever the uh, data we are loading with the help of this uh, pandas way of reading underscore csv now this data one is containing this data now just you can uh, see what exactly the data is containing 
so just this particular data is containing uh, country age salary and whether that particular person is purchased uh, the product or not maybe this is the uh, information uh, randomly collected uh, in a particular supermarket or in the online store or e-commerce something like that only we got some sample data and this particular sample data is the combination of uh, country information of a particular person age of a person and how much salary he is drawing he or she and whether the product offered by us purchased or not so this is the recorded data now in the earlier examples you know guys uh, data one dot info if i am giving okay so because all the uh, all the things like uh, because as you know if you are considering this particular data one which is containing the information of sample data dot csv and there uh, thereafter we have seen that uh, this is belonging to the category of the data frame so whatever the functionality is provided by the data frame can now you can easily enjoy those kind of the benefits now what it is saying how many entries are there and how many columns are there and along with that how many are null and how many are not null okay so if you observe here in age 9 or not null that means one must be null okay in the age yeah you can see here n a n okay this is the null and coming to the other thing salary okay nine only non null one must be null so here this fourth record if you see this is the n a n so like that just if you are giving the info which is giving the information about the number of rows and uh, columns along with how many are null and how many are non null okay they like that and one more uh, function we have seen there only that is what you call data one dot uh, uh, some describe okay if you observe the uh, describe uh, functionality so automatically observe here friends it is giving all the statistical uh, computings you need not explicitly use the uh, statistical functions so as to get the minimum maximum or something like that mean value and all so simply with the describe option uh, one can easily identify the count of uh, how many values are there and uh, what is the mean standard deviation and all and one point in the earlier session also we observed only for the numerical kind of the data we can apply the statistical things that is that is uh, meaningful na? so we are having some data some numerical data i am having that uh, based on that particular data we can uh, perform the activities so but uh, whereas if you see here this purchase and as well as the country uh, as these two are uh, in the format of the text okay this is meaningless uh, to compute uh, minimum maximum or uh, all these kind of things related to the uh, textual data so that our describe is excluding those uh, country and as well as the purchase information okay so up to this uh, just what we have done is uh, we have uh, imported the required libraries numpy and as well as the pandas and thereafter performing some reading operation of the data set and uh, just we have checked the type of the data and definitely uh, we recognized that okay after loading the data uh, it is going to return the data frame and whatever the properties where uh, we have observed in the earlier sessions of the data frame now you can easily uh, see a data frame is basically combination of the series okay number of series would be there and uh, combining of all those particular series can be known as a uh, this kind of uh, data frame huh? now once this particular thing is over now what we have done info so as to verify how many columns how many rows how many of them are uh, null how many are not null all those kind of the conventions and then description of the data uh, where you are uh, going to get some kind of the statistical functionality like count mean standard deviation minimum percentile maximum on the uh, numerical data okay, up to this very uh, straightforward thing friends okay now as mentioned earlier uh, you know there are uh, two values actually uh, features okay always represented as uh, x in the uh, landscape of the data science or data engineering uh, x1 x2 x3 like that we are going to uh, mention and so on uh, xn whatever the values i am having similarly i am having the label uh, label is generally one so which is generally represented as small y so capital x is representation of the feature 
and uh, small y is representation of the label. Now observe here friends, at the moment I am talking about this data. Now have a look on this. We are having the country, age, salary and purchased. Now tell me uh, out of these particular four, which we are, which is, uh, which aspect we are going to compute? Yes, okay, purchase because you know country, age and salary we are not going to compute friend. They are already there. Purchased is nothing but uh, whether that guy has purchased or not. That is the label actually. That is the outcome. With these features like country, age and salary, whether that uh, person has purchased something or not, that is our uh, scenario here. So in that particular case, uh, you can easily say that our country is salary belonging to X. So simply uh, X is containing. Uh, so this particular country, age and as well as the salary. Let me copy this. Country, age and salary. And obviously. Uh, format it guys later while you prepare so that you can easily go through and coming to the next one uh, your Y value. So. Which is obviously the purchased. OK, now it is the uh, responsibility of a data engineer or data scientist so as to segregate these particular X and Y values for the model implementation because you know once you come up with the model so there are uh, two options okay so let me introduce those points also which are though we have referred earlier but uh, still uh, the context time setting uh, to construct the model okay so just we're having the fit method and uh, this particular fit method is uh, uh, applicable on the training data training data you know so which is nothing but uh, out of 100 percent data we are going to split uh, OK, there is a percentage actually 75 or 80 percentage of the data as uh, training data. And uh, 25 or uh, 20 accordingly percentage as test data. Generally friends, the model OK is fit on top of the training data. That's what we have seen OK out of that particular thing. Some portion of the data is uh, split into the training. We, I'll show you in the current day example whatever we are taking training test set also will do in this session and then uh, once this particular thing is over then I have to uh, predict the things. So here the point is uh, OK you have uh, come up with your model and uh, this particular prediction you know friends uh, just I can say this as a Y prediction actually. So this particular Y prediction what it does is uh, on top of the uh, test data. So just we are going to predict something and these values OK, whatever the values I'm having, we are comparing with the original data. Original labels, so this is the convention actually. So that means uh, the model fitting is done on top of the training and prediction of that particular model is on on test data. So just you can I'm, I'm recording here also the test data. So always remember that model construction is uh, training data on top of the training data you can construct your model and the testing of the model or prediction of those particular things can be done with the help of the test data and one more simple statistics followed by the industry is 75 to 80 percentage of the data can be taken as the training 25 to 20 percentage of the data 20 to 20 percentage of the data can be taken as the test data OK so likewise now once this particular uh, thing is over now our important assumption here is uh, uh, just let us uh, take that particular x value as all the features and uh, thereafter uh, we need to generate the y also let us uh, uh, have some kind of the discussion here now i am having my data one here okay so let me pull that particular data one once more now i want to collect this country age salary into x value friends just you make use of your knowledge in the earlier session of uh, that ILOC. We have spent some quite a lot of, a lot of time uh, in the understanding of the ILOC. Uh, correct. ILOC is nothing but so what we have to do just ILOC of all the rows I want friends. 
all the rows and then uh, one more thing from the basics of the python we know that uh, this minus one is the last uh, entry of course i don't want to have that particular last entry what i am doing is here just i am mentioning like this colon minus one that means all the columns except this minus one because that minus one is excluded in ilvoc so ilvoc is uh, used as the default uh, um kind of uh, uh, indexing uh, provided by the python so i i want all the records the first one is uh, rows all the rows uh, obviously the first subscript is related to the rows the second subscript what i am doing is yes i want all the columns but up to minus 1 this is excluded na, so that purchase is not going to involve so just you run this particular code and you can uh, see the x value now you can easily see friends you need not drop or something of course that is also there you can use the drop also uh, but now we are getting these things or sometimes you know friends some some of the aspects if i want to use the values also uh, that also i can do values kind of thing and then x value so it is simply uh, creating so let me keep both the aspects so that you can easily uh, observe x value and this x is nothing but if you observe the type of the x this is a data frame whereas the same statement okay x uh, some x value is equal to what i am doing data 1 dot okay na friends ilvoc of all the rows all the columns except but last one and i want to get the values that means it is uh, generating the same now you can see the x value okay now you observe this type of x this is the nd array there is a distinction friend it's okay uh, if you are not picking up the values and if you are saying directly usage of this particular thing it is becoming the data frame okay but whereas if i am explicitly with uh, by adding the dot values obviously we are um, Uh, getting this particular uh, thing into the array format okay arrays you know <laughs> in the earlier kind of thing we have seen some uh, kind of flexibility and arrays are very faster uh, in the memory orientation and all that is the reason just we are uh, considering those particular thing and it is uh, one more point we have to refer here is uh, uh, while performing the missing value imputation okay so in the missing value imputation so let me guide that in a different way so just what we are doing is friends uh, in the implementation of this uh, missing values because that is the first topic we are discussing uh, this particular missing value handling is done by uh, sklearn library actually sklearn okay and i'll explain which are all the aspects uh, provided uh, by sklearn so as to handle the missing value but if you remember from our uh, numpy discussion okay there we we spent that uh, some time like on top of this particular numpy we are having this uh, support of the sklearn also because this sklearn internally works on uh, concept of the arrays so that means uh, Uh, re, uh, suppose if you are uh, assigning or if you are working with the arrays sklearn is having some kind of the nativity because whatever the uh, kind of the data it is uh, designed or developed obviously if you are uh, making use of that kind of the data so by default uh, you can enjoy the performance benefits so so as to maintain that particular convention uh, you can make use of the uh, sklearn kind of the library so that is the reason friends what we have done is uh, just we are we have taken this x and this x is nothing but the features features or independent uh, variables what we have done our uh, data is like this uh, data 1 okay dot we, we are having the information uh, knowledge about ilvoc and all the rows i want and the columns except that last one this is the last uh, column okay that means uh, whatever the information we are having country and as well as uh, age salary only 
those particular things are coming into this particular x now along with that we have specified the values also obviously if i am uh, verifying the type of this x it is becoming as array okay that is the important point so similarly uh, if you are referencing the y okay so next thing what we are doing is after uh, getting this particular convention now we are going to uh, get that particular y yeah as as per your expectation exactly why is the label mm. simply friends data one dot i l was of i need all the rows mm. but i need only one column friends there is one more option just the required information i can put here rather than slicing if i am saying something definitely it is uh, picking up that particular thing and you can uh, make use of these values actually okay now you see why only the array kind of the data with the last notation whatever the last uh, according to the data set uh, the purchased value is now available with y okay so simply if you see the type of y automatically it is giving that uh, nd array nd array is because of we are using the scikit-learn uh, based on that particular convention one can easily uh, absorb the usage of the sklearn now friends uh, i need to talk uh, about this uh, sklearn which is very very useful package what i am doing here is uh, just let me open uh scale layer okay so just i am clicking this select this uh, scikit-learn.org okay so hope you are seeing the things uh, which we are having classification regression and as well as the clustering these are all the uh, algorithms where we have seen earlier now dimensional reduction model selection pre processing all these guys okay now that means this scikit learn is a library uh, which is machine learning in python and uh, which is allowing us to perform the uses of or to implement uh, these kind of the algorithms like maybe the classification like support vector machine k nearest neighborhood random forest all these kind of the examples apart from that we are having the support of this regression which is another category of the algorithms like uh, support vector regression um, in knn also i can apply for the regression but basically a regression you know we have seen simple linear regression multiple regression polynomial regression only those things are uh, you can expect the better performance though some of the classification algorithms like uh, decision trees and random forest or uh, support vectors or nearest neighbors who can be used for regression but in a specific cases only friends okay but uh, the real regression can be observed with the simple and multiple or polynomial kind of thing and clustering you know which is unsupervised uh, kind of the learning where we are having uh, k means hierarchical uh, kind of thing all these things comes under the category of the clustering now our interest is in the pre processing actually like missing values and all let us uh, click on this automatically you you can observe various aspects here friends in the pre processing aspects of the data not only the missing value and not only the uh, uh, along with the missing value we are going to talk about the encoding techniques and friends here uh, uh, apart from these things uh, standardization is there actually that means feature scaling okay and uh, um thereafter we are having some kind of other aspects encoding we are going to see normalization imputing the missing value like that it is providing a vast variety of uh, applications friends okay though uh, these things are available uh, you need not worry about all these things friends whenever there is a requirement uh, just to pick up uh, those particular uh, data and uh, according to that requirement so just we are uh, going to perform some kind of the activities okay so uh, just if you are referencing these kind of things so the uh, the ultimate uh, thing is uh, uh, if you are making use of these uh, pre processing that is available with the scikit learn okay so you can see the other versions uh, which is the current version 1.0.2 we are seeing 
along some of the aspects you can uh, see in the pre processing that means uh, the missing value imputation encoding techniques scaling standardization normalization all these things okay so the scalar is not only not limited to a single aspects friends uh, you can realize here if i am going back it is also dealing with uh, the classification regression clustering aspects pre processing models i will deal these things also friends in the coming sessions dimension uh, dimensional detection and as well as the model selection which are uh, really helps any data engineer or uh, data scientist uh, so as to work out uh, uh, suppose uh, i'm having number of dimensions and i want to limit the uh, number of dimensions and uh, which are really helping our model then only i can place those dimensions but there should be some kind of the mechanism so as to reduce the dimensions and model selection also uh, suppose that some of the algorithms are having various parameters and how do i select uh, out of n number of the parameters i want to make use of the best or optimized parameters for all those kind of thing i can automate the process friends with the help of the scikit learn okay so but our current session focus is on the pre processing so just where uh, i thought of launching this uh, uh, introducing this uh, sklearn to you so which is providing uh, data pre processing aspects and uh, some of the classifications we are having classification algo uh, and then we are having some regression algorithms okay so just if you are referencing the other uh, uh, category of the algorithms regression algorithms and in the next phase uh, so just we can uh, observe the uh, model selection criteria and uh, the dimensionality reduction dimensionality reduction and one more important thing friends actually apart from these things we are having the metrics also you know if i am uh, using the classification you are all aware of these things we have seen in the earlier sessions maybe the confusion matrix uh some kind of uh, auc roc auc roc curve and uh, apart from that uh, we are having some kind of the um, classification report and then we are having some accuracy score all these things are nothing but the matrix again these things are supported by sklearn friends okay scikit-learn and similarly the matrix suppose uh, if i am talking about uh, the regression just i am revisiting guys these things all you are knowing but only the thing is to, has to exploit the uh, benefit of uh, the scikit-learn we are uh, uh, pulling all those things okay if i am talking about the regression okay so can someone help me to get the uh which are all the yeah root absolute error root mean square error and uh, uh, r square uh, in in this uh, thing it is uh, available as r2 underscore score r square okay so uh, likewise friends you are having some support of the sklearn i can say 90 percentage of the model tuning and as well as the data pre processing and uh, training test uh, train test split uh, performance and data pre processing all these things are revolving around sklearn okay so if you are uh, confident enough on sklearn if you master the sklearn kind of the uses definitely uh, you can master the machine learning and data science kind of the space okay now uh, our first uh, aspect of the session is uh, uh, a missing value imputation so here the advantage friends here at least in numpy and pandas we have to manually perform some of the aspects maybe selection of some kind of the uh, uh, portion of the data and uh, accordingly we need to write some one or two lines on the code it is not required here only directly whatever the available things we are having we can easily assemble those things in the session okay so now to handle the missing value already i am having the data one with me for that we are having the support of uh, some statement friends here so let me uh, introduce how we are using the sklearn because you know just now we have seen 
uh, this uh, sklearn is providing many aspects i cannot directly import sklearn like that because unnecessarily all these things will be imported classification regression clustering dimensional regression model selection and preprocessing so the wise data scientist always prefer whichever the aspects he require only those things can be pointed uh, by our uh, jupyter notebook okay for the sake of the optimization so however from a scalar it suggests some uh, intelligence also friends after giving two letters if you type the tab from a scalar uh, okay dot so just we are having uh, uh, okay impute kind of thing so so just you it is taking some time so just i am taking the scalar dot impute because my interest interest is imputation handling Okay, how do I handle the missing values? Scalar dot impute. Impute. Now you can easily import. There is one um, uh, statement actually. This construct simple imputer. Okay, simple imputer. So with the help of this particular uh, simple imputer, how we have done in case of the import numpy as npy, import pandas as pd. Okay. So similarly, I am having the scalar impute. within that sklearn dot impute we are having the simple imputer and this simple imputer provides the mechanism so as to handle the uh, aspects of uh, okay handling the missing values okay as the name suggest now what you can do is a general procedure friends what you are doing is after importing this thing uh, no matter whether i am working if you remember in the uh, implementation of our knn or in the implementation of our uh, dash entry there we have seen some algorithm and we have created one reference and through that reference only we are going to uh, uh, fit the model and perform some kind of the aspects uh, simple here also what we are doing is uh, uh, i am using the missing value imputer so missing imputer like that i am taking and uh, to this simple imputer okay so i need to send some arguments the simplest way friends maybe if you are using a simple imputer for the first time what you can do is shift tab you can give automatically it is giving you uh, some kind of uh, uh, documentation friends okay which is a simple imputer imputation transformer for completing missing values okay whatever the missing values i am having i want to perform some kind of uh, implementation or uh, i want to Uh, substitute uh, some of the aspects with respect to the missing values okay that is the uh, documentation related to the simple imputer now what i am doing is uh, here i'll try to uh, uh, give you the notion of these particular parameters friends here generally uh, according to this particular uh, documentation we are having many parameters but uh, those parameters are by default some of the parameters applies and all where you need to mention the important parameters and which are not uh, default okay which are important and which are required in that particular case uh, we have to mention that this missing values this is because our aim is uh, uh, we want to make use of this particular uh, missing value imputing and uh, what i am doing is here uh, just i am pasting that and thereafter uh, if i am giving the shift tab again there is a strategy friends so this particular strategy is nothing but uh, after identification of the missing value what is the strategy you want to follow i want to update my missing values with the mean of the uh, corresponding data so let me explain this particular thing why we have uh, selected this uh, mean so now one more thing friends here directly uh, rather than using nan i want to guide this np dot nan uh, in the earlier uh, thing also we have seen uh, so in the earlier example also we have seen np dot nan kind of thing okay so that is that's what we have uh, imported our numpy also now if you go back and uh, verify uh, this kind of the data so suppose uh, uh, in the age i missed this particular uh, person's age and in the salary i missed out this per this particular person salary generally friends uh, uh, in the uh, companies or in the uh, kind of domains okay so as to compensate that particular missing value the best strategy followed by the statisticians or machine learning engineers is uh, uh, because this value is not unavailable and i cannot keep this particular value so as to perform some kind of the analysis i should uh, replace this value with the meaningful uh, measure 
of course the meaningful measure from the stat background is uh, mean actually mean we have studied which is taking uh, all the values and uh, it is giving some kind of the average okay so it is definitely meaningful okay who are all purchasing uh, and we got some kind of the age and just by replacing this particular thing with the mean is a meaningful construct so exactly that we are doing here just rather than randomly assigning some value we have to follow some strategy that strategy here is the mean okay friends here missing values just i am guiding the simple imputer in such a way that you can pick up the null values so not a number kind of the values from the data set whatever uh, i am giving and uh, my strategy of uh, imputing that particular missing value or handling that particular missing value is the mean now the entire thing is pointed to the missing imputer from now onwards i need not use any simple imputer kind of thing directly as uh, the entire reference of this missing values and strategy i am pointing to this particular missing imputer i can directly make use of that thing okay so if i am uh, referencing this missing imputer out of curiosity just let me display this okay what it is saying yes it is showing that we are having this simple imputer in in inside this particular missing imputer right so and uh, if you are uh, see just if i am uh, making use of this uh, type of missing imputer what it is saying friends uh, your entire uh, sql and impute okay just we are uh, making use of that uh, simple imputer that is the thing of course we know that na, we picked up this particular simple imputer from the impute and after that we have created some kind of the reference based on the simple imputer with the parameters like missing values and as well as the strategy so that is the consideration now the first thing is you may ask me oh we have taken that reference but we have not applied that reference to the uh, corresponding values yet now yeah exactly that we are going to do now so first let me pick up this uh, missing value imputer and there uh, already we have seen friends fit is a method where i want to apply something on uh, some kind of the data now if you see friends uh, uh, in the data actually my x is containing the country and uh, age and as well as salary this is the thing now if you refer this age and as well as the salary like uh, from x value this is zero column this is the first column and second column so in this particular case just i want to pick up only first and second columns friends that is the first point i have to observe so from my data let me write here uh, before fitting this particular thing uh, actually my x value is containing uh, first thing is the country uh, 0th column and uh, thereafter we are uh, having the um, what is the second one friends here age na no? okay uh, age is uh, first column and uh, salary is the second column okay my requirement uh, to handle the missing value is uh, i need which one guys one first and uh, second columns only this is the important point we have to observe so we are fitting only uh, these uh, age and as well as the salary because in those kind of the columns only i got the uh, nulls okay in the age and as well as the salary here i got the null and here also i got the null okay in this particular uh, thing so what i am doing here be cautious friends here directly i am having the x value because we have segregated the text into uh, we mapped the text value with country age and salary now we are uh, referring that that particular x however we are going to apply now i i want to apply on all the rows so rows wise we are not having any issue columns only i want first column and i need uh, second column also i am giving like this friends hope you guys are agree with me reason behind is the uh, even even i am specifying the upper bound as 3 it traverses up to 2 that means only 1 2 can be added age and as well as the salary okay so missing value imputer just we are fitting but it is not giving any uh, outcome now only logically we have fit that but what we should do friends this thing we have to transform see there are two options one is the fitting a logical assignment of some kind of the 
uh, implementation but to to run or to assign that particular thing to the values we have to transform that again the same thing i'm having the missing value imputer with me dot there is a method called transform friends actually transform of what i'm doing is here again same thing uh, i am specifying the same values x value and as well as uh, 1 colon 3 okay so same i have not changed anything like all the rows and i need only age and salary okay now at the moment you see this point friends missing uh, imputer dot transform but some value must be there na i have to store these particular transformations because it is taking one value it is going to uh, convert that value into the Uh, convert that missing value into some kind of the mean like that so where do i store correct okay so whatever the value i am having in all the rows wherever i am getting this uh, missing value in all those locations i have to store that's all okay so very simple whenever there is a change or whenever there is a transformation of uh, uh, non okay nan or missing value that should be implemented with the mean that we have taken and logically what we have done we have fit that thing logically and now we are going to implement practically so just you run this particular thing and be ready friends just i am going to post this particular thing how we are going to turn out that particular missing values into the mean a big surprise okay see earlier this germany guy is having the salary as null and this spain guy is having some null in his age now we got these particular two things okay now if you observe the earlier example okay this uh, this uh, germany guy is having nan in the salary and this particular spain guy is having nan in his uh, age now both germany and spain the corresponding members uh, salary and as well as the corresponding whatever the age we are having those are directly converted into the mean see simple how simple friends okay so just like that we can uh, able to perform some kind of the activity of the missing value so it's not a big thing okay very simple where you can uh, refer the uses of okay once more i am repeating so just we have uh, taken the support of the sklearn and we have we have got this particular simple imputer and uh, the simple imputer is requiring uh, two arguments one is the two main arguments though other arguments are there we are not considering them and we are keeping them as default and we are having the missing values and then the strategy and thereafter we have observed that uh, there are two important things one is the fit and second is the transform so just according to your requirement we are uh, getting uh, these kind of the considerations and we are uh, uh, performing some kind of the imputations okay now uh, the missing value wise we are okay so very simple narration now the other uh, thing we need to discuss here is the encoding techniques na the second part of our uh, discussion is the encoding uh, techniques okay so what do you mean by encoding friends uh, in a high end view uh, we have taken some uh, uh, text data and i want to convert the text data into some numbers especially friends if you refer in this current example uh, we are having some country data actually france spain germany spain germany france spain france germany and france if you look at this particular uh, data friends we are uh, having the repeated uh, country names actually france spain germany and no other country is there only these three countries are uh, repeating so here the unique countries are france spain and germany so it is always meaningful to convert these kind of the data into suppose france is there as mentioned earlier na spain germany becomes zero france as one and if spain is there france germany becomes zero spain as one if germany is there france spain become zero germany as one that is a kind of one hot encoding concept is clear for us now what we need to do is uh, this particular country wise i need not convert age and salary into the one hot encoding or something maybe i can scale later point of time scaling is different friends scaling in the sense uh, maintenance of uh, different columns information into the common scale okay that however in the uh, feature scaling we are going to talk now our uh, uh, one hot encoding we are going to apply on the country and uh, 
as a as a good luck of ours just we are having three different three unique countries here france spain and as well as the germany and uh, accordingly we need to assign some kind of the data okay so uh, let us give a try this is also as much simple friend because sql in itself is a simple thing okay so and uh, let us see uh, here uh, what we are doing here is uh, uh, first let us uh, take the independent encoding okay independent variable encoding so if you are referencing this independent variable uh, what is the independent variable friends out of x and y x is independent variable of course within that x again we are uh, uh, going to perform this x within that we are having the country okay analysis country wise and which is by default belongs to x of 0 if you see x of 0 is a country x of 1 is a uh, age and uh, x of 2 is a salary like that now our interest is on the x of 0 so we need to observe that particular thing and uh, of course we decided that we are going to apply the one hot encoding one hot encoding is nothing but though we are having many kind of the country just i need to take uh, if, uh, if france is present uh just you can put one and uh, instead of germany and spain you can put zero if germany is present you can put france as zero spain as zero and uh, germany as one like that it follows okay now uh, as mentioned earlier friends i i have not imported everything from the sqln okay so now i am having uh, one more import yeah this we should habituate from sqln okay dot compose is there friends see how nicely they have designed compose what i am doing here is uh, import okay import column transformer meaningful na because in the earlier earlier import what we have done simple imputer which is a missing value imputation now we are what we are doing one hot encoding we are transforming the textual data into the numbers okay some kind of the encoding technique we are using so column transformer and one more thing friends uh, it is not only enough so just to uh, uh, it is not enough to convert the appropriate thing into the encoding and one more uh, thing we want uh, sqln okay so now we are having pre processing friends actually pre processing import now one more thing just we are uh, making use of one hard encoder see so whatever the topic we are having on the same ground just i am going to apply Uh, i am going to get this particular one hot encoder okay that's it only these two aspects are required which are all the aspects required friends one is the column transformer and second is the one hot encoder and remember that this one hot encoder is generally applicable on the independent variable okay independent variable now what i am doing here is friends uh, so column transformer so just i am taking the column transformer and as usual first we need to create the reference na reference of that column transformer ah uh, here we have to study about the parameters transformers reminder uh, many things would be there but as uh, you know uh, which is applying the transformer to column of any an array or pandas data frame okay so but uh, arrays are most flexible to work with uh, sklm that's what we have taken that particular dot values what i am doing here is uh, the column transformer uh now we need to guide in such a way that this is one uh, parameter uh, we are having friend transformer equal to so just a list i am using here we have to specify the uh, kind of the encoding technique i am using encoder kind of the encoding technique i am using comma just what we are uh, using here friends actually one hot encoder okay reference and then on which kind of the column Zeroth column. That's it. Okay, zeroth column, and then uh, observe here. Think logically. Along with the zero, we are having uh, age and as well as the salary also. I don't want to convert those things because I can see there are many ages here. There is no unique age kind of thing. Many ages were there, but in case of the column, uh, if you observe the country column, there are only three unique. Uh, column said so that it is meaningful to have the encoding kind of thing so the simple parameter simple thing here is friends uh, there is one more parameter called reminder that means what about the reminder uh, column just i am 
making use of this uh, pass through. That's all. What do you mean by this pass through is uh, pass through is uh, not touching. So that means remaining age and uh, salary. I don't want to implement only. I want to stick on to my country information and so that we are uh, converting the appropriate thing into the one hot encoder. OK, again, I'm repeating. So the column transformer is uh, having two arguments. One is the transformers and second is the reminder in the transformers. I need to supply the encoder one hot encoder the kind of encoding I'm using and the on uh, which column I want to apply the encoding technique. That is the first column of course country column zero and uh, this reminder pass through is required friends because uh, you know soon after completion of that uh, current transformation of the country. I don't want to apply my one hot encoding on the age and as well as uh, the salary parameter uh, salary column so that I'm giving this remainder as pass through. That's all. So now now onwards we need not refer this column transformer directly. We can make use of the CT. So just you can run this. Now as usual out of curiosity just you see this CT and uh, type of column transformer. So just it is giving scale and compose column transformer dot column transformer and the CT individually giving the remainder pass through and my transformers information like encoder one hot good and uh, which column I am going to encode. Now one good news for you guys uh, is nothing but uh, uh, this time. Uh, I need not mention uh, uh, the uh, in case of the missing value. I should mention uh, which are all the rows or which are all the columns I want to uh, apply the missing value along with the mean, but this time directly I can give the X value. And only the thing is uh, uh, now you see CT dot. OK, CT dot uh, what I'm doing friends here. Uh, both fit and transform I'm having. OK, one more important thing in the missing value. If you see we are having first we need to fit that and then after uh, applicability of these particular things, then only we are going to transform those things accordingly and we are going to store back. But in a single step, OK, in a single step of the uh, one hot encoding, OK, because the column transform is uh, transformation is having the kind of thing. OK, so directly what I am doing is uh, directly I am mentioning this X value. OK, but just now we have seen what is the type of the CT friends actually column transformer. But what we are uh, expecting X value is nothing but array. Na? This X value is nothing but array. So what we are doing is here simple. Just we are converting is a type casting kind of thing. Uh, NP dot array of. This particular column transformer. That's it. Because it is not retaining by default array, but we are uh, uh, our uh, X value is array na? so that we need to convert the entire thing into the array notation. That's it. Now at the moment I am printing this particular X value. Yes, as we expected the column should be converted into the one hot encoding. Let us see that. OK, so first one uh, let me print uh, the earlier data friends. Uh, what is the data one? Na? Uh, so that we can compare easily. So the first column, you know one that means France is there. Spain and as well as the Germany are zero. Next is uh, uh, it is taken Spain as a third thing. So you are France and uh, 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 I mean uh, Germany become zero and third one it has taken as the Germany. So France is zero. Germany one Spain zero. OK, like that it is uh, manipulated all the kind of the one one hot encoding. See how simple. OK, just you are uh, observing two imports I need. One is the column transformer and second is the one hot encoder. And within the column transformer, there are again uh, two parameters transformation and as well as the reminder. And once that is over here, a little trick we have applied as that column transformer is uh, returning the scale and kind of thing. But our requirement is array just to have type casted this thing and we have done with the uh, one hot encoding. OK, and of course friends uh, we have not done completely because another thing is uh, uh, dependent a variable OK encoding. OK, this kind of encoding is known as the label encoding actually label means what the last value. What is the last value from our data set purchased? What we should do 
S21 and NO20. That is our requirement, the label encoder. So for this particular thing, it is pretty simple because in, in this uh, one heart encoder, we need to dependent on uh, column transformer and one heart encoder. But here directly, see friend, be with me. So just what I'm doing is from, as usual, uh, sklearn, sklearn dot. This time we're having the pre-processing as that of that uh, one heart encoding. And I am directly importing my label encoder. See here, I need not uh, have any column transformation because uh, the column transformation and especially that to one hot encoding is a different thing, friends. Suppose if I am having the multiple values, uh, placing them and uh, pointing those kind of the multiple values uh, need some kind of the uh, mechanism and that too, it should not uh, uh, disturb the other uh, columns. But whereas the label encoder means only one label I'm having and that too I'm having uh, only two possibilities. Uh, it is a straightforward narration. Okay, once it is uh, taken, uh, what we should do friends, uh, label encoder. Just I'm uh, creating the reference of this. I need not give any parameters also. Directly, that outcome is why now? Why? LE dot. Uh, what we should do friends, fit end transform so directly i am making use of the fit and transform here i am submitting y now you output this y okay earlier y is zero uh, no s yes kind of thing but now if you see y it is belonging to it is converted to zero one kind of the things okay so that is how you can refer uh, the one heart encoding and as well as the label encoding see uh, these these things are very simple because uh, once you come up with uh, the narration of uh, uh, whatever the logics I'm having. So, so as to implement those kind of the conventions, uh, one can easily perform the task of uh, missing value imputation and uh, one heart encoding and as well as the label encoding. And one more point here I want to refer friends. Uh, that is what you call the training and test split. Though I have discussed in the uh, earlier uh, sessions, but uh, I thought of uh, uh, discussing that particular thing uh, here is a significant benefit to you because you know as a part of our pre-processing techniques we have applied missing values and one heart encoding and label encoding kind of thing and another such kind of the pre-processing is the uh, train test split okay training and uh, uh, testing split of the data so the general convention is friends uh, uh, the entire data we are not going to use in the model fitting so there should be some kind of the segregation, maybe 75, 25 or 80, 20 like that. For that particular thing, friends, we are having a nice analogy so as to maintain the training and as well as the test splitting. So for that particular purpose, uh, uh, there is still, again, uh, we are using this uh, from same thing, uh, SKLN. Uh, this time we are having one uh, uh, important thing. If you go back and see, uh, here I am having the model selection actually. Okay, so uh, within this particular model selection, we are having the train test split kind of the aspects. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing here is uh, SKLN dot uh, model selection. Okay, model selection and within this model selection, I can import uh, uh, train test split. See, okay, it's not a pre-processing kind of thing, but uh, it is belonging to the model selection. And uh, one more important thing friends here, this particular train test split is going to return uh, four important uh, um, values. So, so let me give some uh, light into this. So basically uh, up to now we are knowing about this uh, X value, which are all the features and we know the Y value, which is a label. This is a label, these are all the features. Now you, you observe here, According to this uh, train test split, which is a model selection, it is uh, segregating our uh, uh, training data into 75 percentage, testing data into the 25 percentage. So this is the training data. This is the test data. That means friends, uh, our X value should be, our X and Y should be converted into the 25 and some portion of X and Y should be converted into the 25 percent. So what they have done is uh, very simple. Uh, 
as a resultant of this particular train test split, it is returning four parameters, friends, four outcomes actually. I can say this is uh, returning four uh, components. Uh, the first component is friends X training, X testing, and second component is Y training and Y testing. Meaningful, na? So X train and as well as the X test, Y train and as well as the Y test. Okay. So now let me uh, explain. So X train. 75% Y train also 75% that means out of available 100 it is uh, fetching 75 randomly. Similarly we are having X test and as well as the Y test. This is 25 percentage. This is also 25 percentage. OK, these things we can observe now uh, in the implementation friends. So OK. What exactly the parameters contained by train test split? The parameters are like this. First, we need to give the X value and then I should give the Y value. And thereafter, uh, I can specify the what is my test size. Maybe 20 percent I am taking uh, rather than 25 percent or 25 also we can take 0 0.25. And one more thing friends, you can stop here. You, you can uh, uh, give only X, Y and test size. But one more parameter is there that is known as the random state actually. Random state which is uh, one. So that means friends uh, uh, the return value is uh, X train X test Y train and Y test, but it is demanding uh, the four arguments four parameters. One is the feature. Second is the Y value and your test size we have to mention 25 percentage of uh, thing I am taking for the testing and uh, 75 I am taking for the training. Random state when it is helpful is uh, suppose uh, you are uh, having some sample data. And you are giving this particular data to multiple algorithms. OK, algorithm one, algorithm two and algorithm three. Now we want to uh, on the common grounds on the common environment or on the common benchmarking, you want to estimate the performance. OK, uh, to attain the fairness, just you need to mention the random state as one for all the algorithm. That's it. OK, that random state decides that. So if you are changing that random state, automatically the benchmarking will be changed. OK, so but whereas if I want to keep the same kind of the benchmarking, and I want to perform some kind of the activity throughout all the algorithms and I want to come up with uh, on the common environment uh, uh, with respect to this particular data, which algorithm is uh, I want to compare uh, the analysis of those kind of the algorithms. In that case, I can go with this uh, random state. OK, uh, why simply talking just we are going and implement these kind of things so that you can have the clarity. Now we have uh, taken the uh, import of train test split. Now simply as mentioned earlier, we can take the uh, X train. OK, and as well as the X test. Similarly, my Y train. Y test OK, what we are doing friends here, we are passing. Uh, we are sending this uh, arguments. Already we are having X value and as well as the Y value. Uh, apart from that, uh, we are having this uh, uh, test size actually. So. Test size OK, just we need to mention uh, some 20 percent. And then my random state. Random state I can give some value any anything. OK, so just you can run this. Obviously, so train test split now X and Y. Now uh, I want to check OK, whether uh, uh, how many values are there. You can see some number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows are there in the X train. Similarly, I want to uh, check my X test value. OK, see out of 10, OK, 20 percentage of the data is devoted to the testing. 80 percentage of the data is uh, devoted to my training. OK, na? so likewise. So similarly in Y, y case also. Uh, this time taking Y train. And as well as uh, Y test. OK, so eight records are uh, devoted to Y train or uh, 
two records are devoted to y test okay so this is how you can refer the pre processing aspect of your uh, uh sklearn okay with the help of that particular sklearn uh, we have done with the missing value imputation and we have taken the help of one hot encoding simple imputer and uh, strategy as mean and sometimes you know once you uh, picking up with the uh, uh, the kind of uh, encoding techniques okay on country if i want to apply one hot encoding i have done with the column transformer and i have taken the uh, uses of that uh, one hot encoder whereas in the label encoder i my i, I have not i am not having any worry directly i can make use of uh, the convention you know where uh, i can perform some kind of the activity directly on the label encoding so this is how you can refer the orientation of uh, uh using uh, missing values and all these kind of the things as a data pre processing okay now there is a question friends always like you know suppose uh, there is a feature scaling actually uh this particular uh, feature scaling what it does is uh, um, it is uh, scaling the data suppose i am having uh, uh, my data so if you observe friends the problem here age is in uh, uh, some two digit uh, and salary is in some five or six digit generally friend there is misinterpretation of the algorithms some of the algorithms uh, what they how they interpret is uh, if the value is high obviously uh, it it may feel that okay this value is having high impact or we should uh, work out something on this particular value and it is considered as the high priority value so as to avoid that particular thing we are having the concept of the feature scaling actually so what do you mean by Uh, this particular feature scaling is uh, scaling of the data rather than uh, uh, using that particular data as it is uh, what i am doing is uh, just i can make use of my data into the scaling like i can take my age and as well as the salary into the common scale so that uh, the algorithm may not feel uh, okay this particular data is having high priority something like that okay so for that particular purpose uh, you can apply the feature scaling uh reason already i have told like uh, some of the ml models misinterpret the features so that feature scaling is required suppose if high value is there then it is uh, it may feel that okay that particular value is uh, contributing to the model high highly okay so without any prioritize without any bias if i want to perform i am having the feature scaling this is also simple you know so just i am taking from sklearn learn uh i am having uh, the support of the pre processing here friends and uh, import tangent scalar okay so in the earlier uh, missing value imputation we are having uh, some other thing na uh, what is that okay so we have taken the help of uh, simple imputer don't get confused this is the simple imputer to impute the missing value this is the standard scalar for the standardization actually okay for the standardization now once this particular thing is over what i am doing here is uh, uh, some kind of the standard scalar okay so i i have to create the reference na that is normal reference i am creating and now how to apply this particular thing so fitting generally gives uh, uh, is get up and especially in case of this particular standard scalar this particular fit what it does is uh, uh, it just uh, get the mean and uh, standard deviation of the values okay it is going to get those uh, whatever the values i am having okay but whereas if you are referencing the transform as mentioned earlier so just it is going to apply the standardization the standardization is nothing but you can apply to anything friend because normalization is one more where uh, the normalization is uh, for the normal data okay suppose in the random variable or in the statistics kind of thing we are having some uh, uniform data uh, uh, and uh, normalized data okay so like that we are having the data in the normalization and all but to if i if i am not aware of uh, what kind of data i am having then i can uh, go with the standardization process okay i can uh, make use of the standardization now what we are doing here is uh, uh this particular uh, standardization is uh, having the principle of uh, uh, taking the value and computing the mean and uh, dividing those particular thing with the um, you know 
some kind of the value okay so standardization internally using the mean and standard deviation that's what i i want to tell you in the fitting internally the method get the mean and standard deviation of the values and transformation even in case of the one hot encoding also we have seen these two conventions actually okay now first we have seen the fitting and then we have uh, observed the transformation if you see here missing imputer fit missing imputer transform but directly in the label encoder fit transform we are having okay so uh, now uh, let us see how we are going uh, ahead uh, related to this uh, these uh, uh, standardization okay what i am doing here is guys just you see uh, i want to standardize my all the values okay so all the rows and thereafter uh, i want to standardize okay so um, uh, just if you refer the three colon okay so the third uh, thing whatever the column i am having okay and now uh, where is my reference exist standard uh, scalar uh, both fit and transform at a time i am applying what i am doing here is uh, in the x training i am having the x training na of colon comma uh, three colon okay just let us run this particular thing what we are going to get uh here what it is saying friends uh, so just it is uh, performing some kind of the it is asking us uh, to transform okay shape is 8 by 2 but we are having the uh, x value so uh, can someone help me how should i think yeah definitely i should update this thing with the training value okay because i cannot broadcast broadcasting is some property where you can verify with the numpy our x train is only containing 8 by 2 our x is containing 10 by 2 okay so just we have refound now you can see the x train value okay so now at the moment you uh, print this particular x train all the standardizations you can get whatever the values i am having okay so all the rows because uh, in the x value now we are having 0 1 2 2 okay from the third until last because only we are having 3 4 rather than mentioning uh, three colon five like that what i have done is uh, all the columns from three because anyhow first column is uh, first subscript is embedded now first subscript is embedded this one and then we are having the salary age and as well as the salary so that the transformed thing you know now it is coming under the same scale similarly if i want to perform the x testing okay so now we have done the x training what we are doing is x testing similarly colon same three colon okay i want to perform from starting from the third uh, column what we can do friends uh, uh, standard scalar dot uh, this time you know friends one simple narration i am using uh, just to observe i am only using the transformation you have to tell the answer friends why it is so after uh, seeing this on outcome x test of all the rows and uh, starting from the third column okay let us run this and now you display this test value okay what is the reason friends here because the 20 percentage of the data okay uh, i am using in the prediction only i never use this particular x testing in my model friends okay because uh, let me give the hint here in the model implement go back and see your implementations earlier we have done in the sessions your model is containing um, some kind of the model okay uh, this particular fit we are taking x train and as well as the y train only okay but whereas in case of the testing only that means uh, in prediction only okay what you can do is uh, uh, predict of just i can make use of the x testing so i never use this uh, x testing in the model implementation so that uh, what i am doing is just i am transforming the data rather than the applicability and all okay this is how you can uh, uh, use the uh, feature uh, uh, scaling kind of the thing and one common question friends uh, suppose if i am uh, using the train test split whether i need to perform uh, train test split first or else uh, i have to perform the feature engineering first that means do we need to apply Uh, feature scaling before the train test split or after the train split it generally friends uh, after performing the train test split then only you can go and uh, apply the feature engineering so that uh, 
uh, in the after getting the train test split, uh, the segregation is going to happen like X train, Y train, X test and Y test. So we are having some clarity. So all the components are uh, uh, emitted and we are going to get some kind of the outcome so that one can easily perform the activities. OK, so this is how you can uh, observe the process of the uh, missing value imputation and all. Let me conclude. OK, so just whatever the key uh, outcomes of the session. So we started uh, the, uh, the discussion with the data pre-processing. And this particular data pre-processing is playing a vital role uh, in the implementation of the models. And uh, here we have observed the uh, missing value imputation. For that missing value friends, we are, we are having the support of SKLN. Of course, SKLN is uh, providing the uh, model selection, data pre-processing, all these kind of the things along with the classification and regression. And within the SKLR, we are having the simple imputer. OK, and uh, just we have applied some kind of the imputing technique with the strategy. With the strategy as mean. OK, uh, the missing value. So there we have taken uh, the uh, support of this SKLN. And then we worked out the uh, kind of the transformer, uh, which is nothing but the encoding technique. And this particular encoding technique, uh, there we have seen two kinds. Uh, one is the one heart encoding. Second is the label encoder. So along with the one heart encoder, we're having the column transformer friends. Column transformer and we have used the one heart encoding. So here we have applied uh, these kind of things to the uh, X values, which is nothing but the independent variable. Independent variables, especially you know uh, this particular transformation we applied on uh, country column. There we are having some France, Spain, Germany. So uh, accordingly we have applied the um, one heart encoding and thereafter we have seen the label encoder. OK, so label encoder can be directly applicable on the outcome actually. So we are having the purchase it now on top of this particular purchase column. You can directly apply the label encoder. These things we have seen and now and then we have seen the uh, some kind of the train test split. And this particular train test split is available under SKLearn model selection. OK, there uh, uh, four uh, outcomes would be there uh, like X train. X test. Y train. Y test and this uh, train test split. Uh, is having some uh, parameter expected expected. So the first parameter of course uh, feature. Second parameter is the label. Your third parameter is you have to specify the test size 0 0.25 or 0 0.2. Fourth one is a D is you can ignore that. OK, so the random state you can ignore that. The significance already we have seen. Uh, if I'm testing multiple algorithms on the under the same benchmarking, I can go uh, with that. And fifth one is friends, uh, the data standardization. There we have seen uh, the concept of uh, standardization. Which is comes under the category of the feature scaling. OK, so uh, this particular uh, standardization uh, can be taken from the scalar in the format of the standard scalar. OK, so just we have taken um, the support of uh, standard scalar. So uh, just we are uh, we are apply we have applied some kind of the standardization in such a way that uh, just we have taken uh, in case of the X training. We have taken fit and uh, transform. There I have given the uh, reason why it is so because this X train is one which is used to uh, apply in the model 
so that uh, we have uh, given that but however why train and why <laughs> uh, those things are not required any scaling friend because they are already in 10 format now we cannot scale them again we need not actually okay x test only we have applied the transformation direct applicability of the data rather than the fitting okay so this is how you can mention the uh, various uh, pre processing kind of the aspects uh, starting from the missing value and as well as the other encoding kind of the techniques okay so just to prepare well guys so uh, so that you can have a uh, look of uh, these complete uh, orientations right okay one minute that's it thank you